So good evening, Coventry people. It's the Eye Community Team, the UK around the world, UN establishment, especially West Midlands Police Force. Right, all the cover operators are shitting it, and they've exposed TNT, TNT workers. So let's go through when I worked at TNT. Yeah, I was one of the best workers there. Got taken on straight away by TNT. Then I started off with the agency. Works that work, uh, works. Just want to pick the agency. It's going back. Yeah, to the naughty noughties. 1998, I think it started around TNT, towards the back end of 1998. Workforce or something, get away with the agency in the city centre. Yeah, and when I started off with agencies, in, in, this is when the agency first started. Yeah, every agency I worked for, yeah, always had a great track record. Yeah, passed every test with flying colours, yeah, to get full time jobs in the works organisations. Apart from one or two, if I didn't want to work there. Yeah, and so, yeah, going to, to TNT, the management there, Steve Cook, Alan Cook from Birmingham, Alan Rock area. Yeah, took me on straight away. And I did a one, two-man job, did it myself, because uh, Steve Cook's brother, Alan, Alan Cook, and his friend Greg, an Irish boy, yeah, linked to the Irish community, because we all celebrated uh, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, uh, I did their job on my, on my own. Yeah, and handling computer stock, iMac computers, Apple products. Yeah, on my track. Yeah, so I was handling the goods, putting them on the right CV in the postcode area. Yeah, and using the computer to produce produce the labels. Do the job now. <laughs> if I went back to it, yeah, he would jump on any forklift. Yeah, it says the country CID. They blacklisted us. Yeah, drove a forklift there. Yeah, did, did a did a did a two man job on my own. So that was my job. Yeah. Get, get your goods in, whatever come in, yeah, and wrap it all, yeah, and then start producing, scan it all, and start producing labels automatically. You know what I mean? That's dead easy. This is I mean, the job I did 30 years ago, and it was way advanced compared to Pete Brown, who may know the Wellsborn boys, because he's from Warwick, and he's linked to the armed forces. That's the SES manager, Pete Brown. Yeah, fresh out of university, got their life experiences, and I'm clued up more than him than what the armed forces boys have got. The Navy boys have got, what DARPA have got, yeah, what the NSA have got, yeah, what the CIA have got, <laughs> FBI have got, and what the CID, yeah, and the MR5, MR6 have got, yeah, so these Coventry police officers, yeah, Sergeant Horton, Sergeant Kirby, who knew nothing about thermology equipment when they come around to my flat playing dumb. Where's the cameras? Where's the cameras? Oh, making up, trying to label people. Oh, we can smell some cannabis in here. Yeah, I'm like, wow, yeah, I'll go, if you've got nothing better to do, I'm carrying my cleaning, you know where the door is. Yeah, go on. Yeah, let's be a sarcasm. So that's what I said to him to your eyes. Yeah, that's why I'm rubbing these Coventry police officers' faces into it all. Yeah, these uniformed police officers, they step up and arrest the CID. Yeah, yeah, he's the law to themselves. Broken DCR Tarby. Yeah, disgrace him. Take his pension off him. Yeah, and DCR Con McKenzie. DCR Condola. Yeah, you ain't got a clue about the fucking law. Arrest your CID. Well, I, I have your career. Yeah, in Warwick. Linked to Pete Brown, yeah, and linked to TNT workers at Wildsbourne, yeah, linked, yeah, to uh, an SES worker, yeah, from Birmingham, from around that area, yeah, Paul fucking Phillips, yeah, the daft fucking brummy, yeah, so that's all he's been doing, doing cybercrime, because when I worked at TNT, yeah, we knew, I, we knew I was one of the best football players there, yeah, and I won the dream team, <laughs> yeah, whatever, yeah, anything to do with football, yeah, I was to win it all against the Wildsbourne boys, the Birmingham boys, yeah, and against the SES workers, yeah, on TNT workers, yeah, I had a Chanara pass there once as well, worked it, I mean, I'm supposed to see him there, yeah, someone linked to mental health, working, working there for a few weeks, yeah, anyway, yeah, no, nothing against him, yeah, did, yeah, yeah, this is what, that's what psychology did to him, everyone knows who he is, yeah, and so, yeah, Almaz come, come along with Bosnians, I went away, yeah, for a month on holiday, when I come back, they gave supervisor job to the Bosnian, Almaz. Yeah, so I, I didn't even have a chance of competing, competing against them. Yeah, they already gave a supervisor job to the Bosnians, because Bo the Bosnians were the first uh, immigrants here. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean? They all, look, all got looked after, started a new life, like the Windrush Rind Rind generation. Yeah, so he's is in with police officers. And because Almaz was my rival, yeah, at, at TNT, when I come back from holiday, yeah, this, yeah. I didn't take no orders more, yeah, because I'm like, what the fuck, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, so you know the police, yeah, whatever the TNT members did, Val Greenboy, 
called Water Boy. He worked in a tattoo shop. Yeah, he tried to get the bigger. Yeah, he tried to make out who's been to Holland. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you tried to give the big in there, yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll give it him back, yeah, Coventry boys, yeah, so you can see what's the idea then, yeah, they've gone around this warehouse, got loads of misinformation about them, because I put more in the places and didn't take no fucking shit, yeah, and I left there on bad terms, yeah, so, so TNT have been discredited, the manager, Ross McDowell, yeah, yeah, they got a local girl pregnant who worked for Computer 2000, yeah, so whether they commit adultery, I don't know, yeah, good luck to him. Yeah, he can't get involved because he knew I was one of the best workers there. He took me on. Yeah, who else? Yeah, the TNT head office in Birmingham. Yeah, passed all the tests with foreign colours. Yeah, who else? Was, who else can we, who can we bring in? Yeah, TNT supervisor. Yeah, again, my rival, Mark and, and uh, Steve Cook. They knew I was too intelligent for them. So, yeah, so, cut long story short, one of the management dropped the box on my back. Yeah. On that computer. And then that's why when I went, I went to court in 2004, I was on the sick. Yeah, that's all genuine. This, this is now. Yeah, and in, in the end, got a bit of compensation from TNT. Yeah, the Bosnians, who I used to get lift off before I went to wear on holiday and come back. And, and, and the, the boy got a supervisor job because I wouldn't take orders from this Bosnian. You can hardly speak English at the time. Yeah, they made sure out of time I weren't driving. Yeah, oh, suddenly, oh, we, yeah, we, we can't give you lift no more. I was like, okay. Yeah, so TNT have been discredited. Every single worker, the boys from Bar Green, yeah, to Anthony from Holbrook's who worked there, and his fucking brother, yeah, who were in with this skinhead boy, yeah, and and uh, who end, ended up, Almaz and Roy, where was doing the night shift, day shift, between them, they stole loads of computers, yeah, and that's on the, that's on the TNT, Wellsbourne Computers Records. They moved to Birmingham in the end, because Wellsbourne got closed down. Yeah, so, COID, yeah, Try desperately what you want. Yeah, someone's way ahead of you. Knew what you fucking done. Simon Tilly is brain dead and can't do fuck up. <laughs>